Today, I would like to show an example of a tobacco hornworm that is nearing pupation. At this point, many people are confused as to if it has died or if it is dying. A day or two after they have stopped eating and left the plants or began wandering, they will lose their ability to move. This is pre-pupation, and aside from a few annoyed wiggles, if you touch them, they can no longer walk. A few more days and you will have this, the fully formed pupa ready and waiting to develop into a glorious adult moth. And it can take anywhere from two weeks to a month to complete development. And here is my first one to emerge, gracing us with a nice view of the hind wings as well. These moths blend in so well with tree bark, they are nearly impossible to see. Nature has done a good job of protecting them from predators during the day while they are resting. Only while flying at night do they need to worry about bats since they are a favorite nighttime snack. I've always loved their great big eyes and puppy dog-like faces. I find them rather cute, and they are one of the furriest hawk moths of all I have reared so far. Under the wing, you can see the orange spots on its abdomen, normally only visible while flying. So it has been enjoyable raising this species, and even the more common moths can be fun to work with. They also pair or mate easily in captivity, so if you want to begin your own breeding program, you certainly could. So thank you for watching today, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer as many as I can.